Okay, okay, okay. What's up? What's up, guys? Bitcoin overdose here. Your daily dose of crypto. I overdose, so you guys don't have to. Now, definitely hit that subscribe button to stay tuned and up to date on the latest and greatest crypto spears stuff. And definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. I'll link that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, definitely stay tuned for some great content about a lot of shit. All right. And uh, you know what? Guys and girls, we got uh, Bitcoin chilling right at 7,500-ish right now. And a little bit of a drop from yesterday. Kind of nuts. Um, if you guys have yet to see everything going on, um, I'll be going over the Bitcoin price. And I'll be going over the crypto coin market cap. And then I'll also be going over some daily news. Also, at the end, if you guys stay tuned. I'll do a little bit of a trade, a hit BTC trade that I've been working on the last couple of days. I'm sorry I wasn't here yesterday, actually. I normally do daily videos, but yesterday my internet ran out. And I don't know why, but that happens like every time. And you know what, guys? I actually wrote a really good script for something I believe in in Fortnite. So if you guys are at all gamers or video gamers at all, and I always wonder about in-game currency and why they haven't done cryptocurrencies yet and it's all because of like volatility and all that stuff they always have an excuse um i could put that away tomorrow if you guys stay tuned but yeah i had to write videos last night because i didn't like have internet at all and i couldn't make trades and i was just <laughs> i was bored out of my mind guys i played halo 2 actually a lot of fun um halo 2 offline and co-op with a friend you know we tried to link it up like system link lan and uh, it didn't really work out but that's enough of that anyways bitcoin price the only thing we're overdosing on right here is bitcoin and yeah just looking at this dose of bitcoin today we lost quite a bit of value in just the last couple of hours if you look at the four hour chart we're looking like we just started selling about 7800 looks like it broke through something and 77 was the start um a lot of a lot of sell volume guys we're getting down to the levels for for this volume candle was so that is kind of disappointing um exit all crypto markets it's a scam it's not going to go anywhere it's actually just a giant pump and dump and it's tulip mania all over again no i'm absolutely kidding guys we've had a couple of these pumps and dumps already bitcoins prevailed it always has uh if you look at bitcoin.top.com i think it's the bitcoin mcafee scale um if it wants to come up it might be bitcoin.top I think that's what it is. Oh, I guess we'll find out in a second what that load. Um, but yeah, it's a logarithmic scale of these drops. And okay, guys, we did break through some pretty critical support at 7,600. Actually, maybe if we get a doji here, we'll be in good hands. I don't know, guys. This is very, very important. But again, we we're looking on the four hour. That one hour bounce was not enough for us. And again, this looks like the sell off is just starting off so i don't know how low we're gonna get i still have 5k at the bottom and 6600 as a good support where you kind of want to bounce off of that um that did not load i'm gonna do john mcafee trendline bitcoin guys i spelled mcafee wrong last time i searched this so yeah don't even worry about it oh it's burcoin.top i knew it was close um, but yeah, this is the only line that matters. So we are right now 58 days behind getting to a million by 2020, the end of 2020. So, you know, we got some time. Uh, the logarithm is all there, but it's just, damn it. Guys, we, John McAfee, we need to save his dick. I don't know what we're doing out here, but overall market is down. When Bitcoin's down 7%, you're going to see these coins down 14, 15%, pretty usual. Zero X is having a hell of a day. It's because uh, Coinbase had good news. And they also have something else coming up in the works, which I can show you in a second here. No lookies up here. Uh, Populous, you know, down 12. I mean, shit, guys. We got we got some big losers today. iOS token down. Skycoin. What the fuck is going on here? Skycoin is bumping, bro. What in the fuck? Is this news driven? I don't know. Stop. <laughs> 30 cents or four or three cents up to four. Oh no, it's $33 up to like whatever, whatever this is. 
301,000 Satoshi up to 430,000 Satoshi. So that's pretty solid. I don't know exactly why that's bumping, but if you look at the chart, it looks pretty promising. Um, I wouldn't really jump in now. Um, but it looks like it's going to keep skying. Get it? Uh, yeah, but there's nothing really else to talk about. Zillico is down actually quite a bit today, which is really disappointing because they have really good news today. And of course, it's sell the news when you're in a red bear market and you get this kind of a sell off right here, which is really disappointing. Uh, a couple hundred sats gone. So, you know, it happens, guys. It happens. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bitcoin dominance is at 38 nine percent so we are chilling back guys we're going back up to 40 um of course this is expected guys when the market tanks bitcoin's gonna dominate okay bitcoin always has always will it's the best the network um it's the most secure it's never been hacked um you know it's just where you put your money it's a safe bet you know these altcoins yeah they're gaining some dominance too but Never, never they'll have enough in Bitcoin. <sighs> uh, is the king. But yeah, we're sitting at 333 million market cap. Up from last month, but about the same as last month. So <laughs> nothing's really changed much. But of course, everybody's flipping out because Bitcoin's price is down a lot. Um, Paradox and Coinbase are joining together. That is nuts. Um, Decentralized exchange, Paradox is linking up with coinbase and that means coinbase is probably looking for a rebrand pretty soon here um this is awesome though i mean paradox is like a decentralized exchange and that's what we need more of you know coinbase is one point of failure it's only got like one bank link account everybody knows what that would be if they were to get hacked and um if paradox comes through and everything kind of goes down like it's supposed to uh coinbase will be becoming a lot more decentralized which is awesome guys we definitely need that in this space and having the biggest player fucking go decentralized ooh, that is incredible for all of us uh the more the merrier we need more decentralized exchanges um no doubt about that and then guys lastly but not least i'm down to 42 dollars in this account so i started out with 75 dollars up in this right hand corner uh, USTD and then Bitcoin it was about 0 0.089 I think it was yeah 0 0.0089 uh, about $75 USD at the time uh, with Bitcoin dropping of course we're going to get a little bit of a drop in USDTT whatever it doesn't really matter about that but just the fact that we've lost um, what is this point zero zero three three worth of Bitcoin so about uh I guess it would be about 30 bucks and yeah that's showing guys it's showing hard um you know i don't know guys ejoy was not a good bet i bought up here at the top over here on the left because i thought the order book got cleared so i think i bought like 2200 sats no 2300 sats so you know i'm gonna be honest guys 2300 sats i bought it and um it dropped down to about 1200 i wish i would have bought down here now i wish i would have waited i fomoed because i was watching this daily chart or this hourly chart at the time and i thought well um or maybe it was a 15 minute chart i don't know guys never trade on the 15 minute chart though lessons learned uh on the five minute chart anyways whatever whatever it was it was up here and then it just jumped down so you know it happens it's whatever i don't really care i was um i was kind of just using the 75 to see if we could turn it up into anything and who knows it might um i don't know if i should sell ejoy right now make a trade i might keep it for one more day i had to keep it yesterday because i didn't i couldn't trade without the internet or whatever but you know that happens but most of my trades are actually coming from the troll box so guys hit btc has a troll box on its exchange where people just yell basically what they think about everything and MTC is fucking going off right now. That might actually be the next coin to buy. Um, or the next... Oh, I, I jumped in late. I heard people talking about it yesterday, early in the morning, though. I was like, oh, man, like I should probably cop onto that, like, right when this was low. And I was waiting for this to pop, kind of back up to my buy, at least. And uh, then go from there. But, 
Yeah, from what I'm seeing right now, MTX is the biggest hype right now. This is the biggest hype train right now. On the daily, it looks awful, though. So I don't know why that's even a thing. The weekly looks amazing, though. This looks like it could pop very soon. So who knows there? Um, what other coins are kind of... Guys, for, for day trading, this is what I usually do. I go over to the change. I see what's really, really high. Obviously, like, you know, I'm not going to hop in up here. I don't even know I've done that before. I'm not going to do it now because your chances of winning that trade go less and less. But unless people are hyping it down here, then it might keep going. Uh, people get those words and, you know. Oh, MTC must be the one going ham. Not MTX. Yeah, MTC. Oh my god, this is like fucking 4x in the last four, four days. I don't know, I've been hearing about this. I wish I would have gotten into this right away, guys. We would have been doing pretty good. Um, But yeah, like Pillar is up like... A thousand percent or whatever or a thousand sets today uh but what i usually do is i go to the bottom of the list okay and you look at these ones these down 50 percent ones these down 30 percent ones and you buy a little bit you know don't go all in of course i'm gonna go all in with 40 bucks if i were to do this right now but you know you go partially in and then you um you just wait for these to pop like 50 percent Cause you know that they will like if it goes from three to four that's 25 percent you can just sell again and you just keep doing that and you just keep buying these low ones that are down 50 percent in the day or 25 percent in the day because you know that they're gonna pop you know that they're gonna bounce at some point um so that's usually what i do for short-term trades but that's giving away too many secrets you guys have a great rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button this is bitcoin overdose your daily dose of crypto i overdose so you guys don't have to go follow me over on Twitter at Bitcoin Overdose. I'm doing a follower giveaway at 200. So definitely hit that follow button. Uh, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned. And peace out by the dip.